the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we will be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we will be. The letter S. This letter has a S sound. S. Snake. S. Sun. S. Sandwich. Soda. S socks. S Here's what's happening on Circle Time News at eight tonight. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And that, my friends, is tonight at 8. And also later tonight, Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. That and more tonight on Circle Time News at 8. You are about to journey into another dimension. In this dimension, they don't call alphabet letters by their name. They only refer to them by their sound. So when you see a letter, you only say the sound. Whatever you do, don't say the letter name. Are you ready? Check out that D. Look out for the B. Here comes the K. Look out, here's a S. Ooh, look at that I. Wait a minute, what's that? It's a A. Here comes a S. Mission complete. It's story time. Old Mother Hubbard's Stolen Bone by Alan Durant, illustrated by Leah Ellen Hemming. Old Mother Hubbard had a dog, a very clever dog. He did tricks. He could lie down with his paws in the air and play dead. He could dance and stand on his front paws. He could open doors and shut them again. <laughs> what a clever boy, said old Mother Hubbard. How she loved that dog. <laughs> One day she went to the butcher shop and bought her dog a big juicy bone for a treat. She put the bone in the cupboard. Then she went out in the garden to hang the washing on the line. When she came back, her dog was doing cartwheels. <laughs> old Mother Hubbard laughed. What a clever boy, she said, and she went to the cupboard to fetch her dog the bone. But when she opened the door, the cupboard was bare. Oh, my. I've been robbed, 
she cried. Her poor dog covered his eyes with his paws and howled. Don't you worry, boy, said old Mother Hubbard. I'll catch that bone thief. Old Mother Hubbard ran out into the street and oof, she bumped into Simple Simon. He was carrying something in a leather bag. Did you steal my bone? Old Mother Hubbard demanded. Indeed, no, said Simple Simon. I've got lots of bones of my own. See? He pointed to his head, his arms, and his legs. Not those sort of bones, said Old Mother Hubbard, annoyed. I mean the bone I bought from my dog to eat. She glared at Simple Simon. Show me what's in your bag. Simple Simon <laughs> opened his bag and took out a chicken pie. I bought it from a pie man going to the fair, he said. It cost me one penny. Bah, huffed old Mother Hubbard, and on she ran. At the corner of the street, little Jack Horner was sitting on the pavement eating. When he saw old Mother Hubbard, he hid the food behind his back. Did you steal my dog's bone? cried old Mother Hubbard. N -n -n no, said little Jack, frightened. Not I. Show me what's behind your back, she commanded. Little Jack Horner put his hands behind him and bought out a Christmas pie. Then he put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I. Bah, huffed old Mother Hubbard, and on she ran. Old Mother Hubbard came back to Jack Spratt's house. He and his wife were sitting at the table munching. Old Mother Hubbard put her head through the window. Are you eating my dog's bone, she demanded. Certainly not, huffed Jack Sprout. I'm eating the lean of the meat. And I'm eating the fat, said his wife. But neither of us would ever eat bones. Bah, huffed old Mother Hubbard. Suddenly there was a commotion behind her. Stop thief, someone shouted. Old Mother Hubbard turned to see the knave of hearts sprinting past her, carrying a basket. The queen was chasing after him. Stop thief! I bet that naughty knave stole my dog's bone, said old Mother Hubbard to herself. Off she ran after the knave and the queen. Old Mother Hubbard and the queen chased the knave through the town, upstairs and downstairs, and into the ladies' chamber. Over Marguerite Dawes' seesaw and past Lavender Blue and Lavender Green, until finally they caught him in the wood where red herrings grow. Give me back my bone, cried old Mother Hubbard. But I didn't steal your bone, said the knave of hearts. No, you stole my tots, said the queen. Sorry, said the knave. They're so delicious and I was very hungry. The queen forgave the knave. Since we're in the forest, we may as well have a picnic, she said, and she passed around the tarts. A very good idea, agreed old Mother Hubbard. So old Mother Hubbard, the queen and the knave of hearts sat and ate until the tarts were gone. It's still a mystery who stole that bone, said old Mother Hubbard, but she was so full of delicious jam tarts that she wasn't really that bothered anymore. She said farewell and walked back home, and there was her dog, chewing his way through that stolen bone. What a naughty dog. <laughs> The end. A gratitude attitude, a gratitude attitude, yeah. I've got a gratitude attitude, a gratitude attitude, yeah. Until next time, goodbye my friends.